Hey guys, so you are about to watch the playback from our free workshop that we had uh, Friday night. Sorry you missed it, but excited that you're gonna watch the playback and hopefully you've gotten the prep sheet. Please reach out if you did not receive it because I wanna make sure that you have this. Just do your best with this. You know, the thought process, I wanted to give you an awesome boost and I wanted to help you get the oxygen mask on yourself. You know, some of our friends and family are really hurting right now. And so I wanna encourage you to seize the day and to really head in a direction where you're your best self so you can then help everybody else. It's important that we stay focused on goals. It is important that we are still keeping in touch with our dreams. Maybe it's not realistic to have the vacation of our dreams right now, but I still want you putting them on pen to paper. I still want you dreaming. I still want you believing, but most importantly, I want you setting those goals and going for them, okay? And again, getting the oxygen mask on yourself first. When you're the best version of yourself, you can then be so much more to those around you that are in great need right now. So go ahead and watch the playback. Do not hesitate to reach out if you need anything at all. If you have any trouble um, getting your strategy prep sheet, please let me know and please share with me your end results. That's going to be really, really important and great accountability for you as well. You can do this and trust me, it will definitely be worth it. Hi guys, I hope you're doing amazing. I am so excited for tonight's call and I hope you guys have set your alarms and get on um, for the call. We are doing this via Facebook Live instead of Zoom and um, we're it's a little bit more difficult to send out invitations. So I'm really, really hoping this works out and you guys are able to get on. Jen is on. I am so excited. Hopefully you were able to get your prep sheet and get it um, printed out. If not, no worries. We'll make sure you get one. Um, just make sure you have a notebook and pen um, to be able to take some good notes. This is such an incredible time. Um, it's a rough time. It's a really, really tough time. And I want to just be able to give you guys the biggest virtual hug. You know, reality is we are in the cocoon right now and we've got two choices. We can either kind of, you know, sulk and shrivel up or we can choose to grow in this experience. And we can walk away from this experience with a clearly defined purpose and just ready to live a new life and just remember, you know, what we've been through and really learn to, you know, savor what is important. So that is the goal for tonight. Jen, hang in there with me real quick. I'm going to see if we can invite um, our other registrants here to get them on board. No, it's not going to let me do it that way. Shoot. Well, we'll just have to hope they get on or we're going to have to send them the, um, the playback, right? Good times. Normally it gives me an option to invite friends. There are other friends on, so that's good. All right, there are people on besides us, Jen. <laughs> All right, guys, so just give me a shout out if you don't mind. Let me know that you're here um, and let me know if you got your prep sheet. And uh, hey, Dory, how are you, Dory? I don't think you got the prep sheet, but that's okay. Just get a piece of paper and a pen and we'll make sure afterwards we get you the prep sheet um, for the Redefining Your Life workshop tonight. So my way of just using my talents, um, I wanted to do something for you guys. I know everybody is just really, you know, having good days, having not so good days and um, just kind of experiencing things they've never experienced before. Um, you know, I've heard of people having panic attacks that have never had panic attacks before. So I wanted to have you guys kind of set some goals and kind of get your mindset in a completely different direction because it's only, this is a season. This is not going to be forever. So I want you guys to come out of this um, with a, a purpose and growth and um, we're in the cocoon. So we need to be brave, right? And we need to still keep living and try to seize the moment and make the most of what we have. It is Good Friday and I thought it was so appropriate um, you know, to, to go ahead and do this with you guys. So again, if you're just getting on, if you don't mind just typing in and just letting me know you're here, I really appreciate it. If you didn't get the prep sheet, um, I can get you the link afterwards, um, just to go on and you can still register after the class and we'll get the prep sheet over to you as well. If you're a candy girl, the prep sheet is on your candy stronger page when this is all done. 
So tonight's goal is to do a vision strategy plan. For some of you, that will then um, become a vision board. For some of you, it's going to become a vision list. For some of you, maybe it's going to become a vision wall. My goal is to kind of help guide you through the process to figure out what is going to be best for your lifestyle, your personality lifestyle, and, and what your needs are. But the most important thing right now is to be putting pen to paper and kind of, you know, what I call brain dumping and getting, you know, your ideas flowing and really start heading towards what you feel is priority in your life. Um, I'm hoping no one typed in that they're on um, besides Jen. So I'm really, really hoping that people that registered for the class are um, are getting on um, and, and know where to go and all that fun stuff. But again, this is will be available in playback, God forbid. Six months ago, think back. Oh my gosh. Like, would you have thought, you know, that this was going to be your life right now? I, I don't think you ever thought in your lifetime you would be ever experiencing something like this. You know, my eldest has the most incredible attitude about everything. He's like, Mom, we're part of history. Um, you know, for the rest of us, though, it's a little bit of reality check. And, uh, you know, definitely not where we thought our lives would be at this place in time. But it doesn't mean that we just go to crap. It doesn't mean we're like, oh, you know, we're just going to set all of our goals aside and um, shrivel up like I talked about. No, this is the time that we grow. You know, we have adversity. The environment has changed, but that's when you get into the grit. That is when you sit there and really explore what you want out of life. You are challenged day in and day out. Just going to the grocery store right now is a challenge. Don't let it be a negative. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Let's take these experiences and use them for good. New Year's Eve hit, you know, and you were setting goals on New Year's Eve. Everything has completely changed. Things have completely different meaning than they did just two, three months ago. It doesn't mean you have to give up. It doesn't mean things are going to continue to get worse. It's up to you whether or not you're in control of your life. You know, it's me, God's in control. But you can define and create a life even with this mess. I promise you. And tonight, I'm going to help you do that. So... You know, I don't know why we're in this season. I don't know what God has planned for us. But, you know, as I mentioned, today is a, a pretty special day, a pretty significant day, being Good Friday. The boys and I went out at 3 p.m. as we do every year uh, just to pray. And uh, it was incredible that, like, every year the skies were dark. And then, you know, we came back in and a little bit later it was like bright sunshine again. And I know we've been seeing rainbows everywhere. There was snow this morning. So I have a feeling that good things are coming, but we just needed a, a little time to um, gather our purpose. So the whole reason why a strategy vision plan works is because we're going to take our intentions and we're going to change them and give them attention and that's going to put things into action it's so interestingly because when you have this pen to paper concept and you start um, having things more visual your subconscious actually kicks in and it's so interesting because you'll start utilizing just naturally your resources around you to head you into this direction there's a lot of psychology behind doing a vision strategy plan you do need to have it out where it's reminding you and again we're going to talk about making it very visually stimulating and very visually appealing but it's imperative. You know, Jen did a vision board with us um, New Year's two years ago, and she can tell you what an impact it did make in her life. I mean, it really changed her direction. I love the example of when you get a car. Like a few years ago, I had a white Jeep, and I, I never saw white Jeeps anywhere. And all of a sudden, I was seeing white Jeeps everywhere after I'd gotten a white Jeep. It's because, you know, my uh, natural, you know, inclination had changed. You know, you probably maybe, um, maybe join a new bank and then all of a sudden you'll start seeing that that brand everywhere because subconsciously you're changing you know your mindset and your direction to go for that goal but the cool part is is when we start setting goals um it's just it's it'll naturally kick in for you to start utilizing your resources and it's it's so interesting how where you didn't think there could be a path made to get to this goal your body will start naturally finding ways and, you know, using intuition to help you get to that goal. So there's a lot of psychology behind doing a vision strategy plan. And 
the, the success is just mind blowing. It, it truly, truly is successful, but we have to start at point A before we get to point Z, right? Um, but Daily focus is going to be imperative um, to help motivate you to reach these goals. And I know right now you're having to dig deep for motivation. Colleen, I'm so excited you got on. Make sure you grab a pen and paper, girl, and we'll make sure we get you the strategy sheet afterwards. Um, and don't forget, guys, it does take 21 days to create a habit. Um, the goal here is I'd like for you guys to kind of do a 100-day plan on your, your strategy prep sheets, and then we're going to end up creating a six-month um, vision. It might feel better for you just to do the 100 day plan. It might feel better for you to do a 100 day plan and a six month plan because I understand a lot of things are up in the air right now, but it doesn't mean you can't be setting goals right now and be chasing some dreams. Me personally, I just started taking a course online. I started doing my yoga certification that I've always wanted to do. You don't have to stop right now. You don't have to let adversity you know, cause you to just freeze up and be fearful. We can still live our best lives, you know, and some of you guys are going through some really tough things with your careers right now. Um, you know, family and friends are being affected by this. It is a scary, scary time. I have to encourage you and I have to give you the biggest hug possible and tell you for their sake, you know, and for everything they're going through, I need you to become your, you know, healthiest self and become the best version of you. We got to put the oxygen mask on ourselves first so then we can help everyone else and be there for everybody else. Um, so technically after, I'm going to go over the strategy plan, um, but there's two ways after you do your, your strategy plan, um, you kind of break it off in, into two different variants. So, there's the vision strategy plan. So that's what we start off first and we write everything out. Um, and this is going to be good for more of our information driven people. So when we get done with our vision strategy plan, it's going to be best for you to have. I, I'm probably going a little bit too ahead, but we're going to talk a little bit more about this. But I'm sure you're excited to know those of you who not want to be cutting anything out. I promise you, you will not. Those of you who are more creative, cut away, my love, cut away. So again, so if you're more information driven, you like to read books, you know, you haven't really uh, tapped into your creative side. And I want to encourage you to do that. It's really important to strengthen yourself. You know, we talk about a lot about personality styles and where you fall on the spectrum. Are you more information driven? Are you more organized? Are you more a people person? Are you more action driven? And wherever you fall in that line, you do really want to find, hang out with people that are maybe your complement or really try to push yourself to strengthen those areas. I am such a people person, typically the opposite end of the spectrum for me is information driven. And I've really pushed myself, you know, when I created this vision board to become, you know, more stimulating, um, you know, and, and be more information driven. It has put a major major impact in my life. It has dramatically changed who I am. People who knew me five years ago, even though I, I, I've been through a little bit of adversity, a lot of my change and growth came from, you know, working on those areas of my life that I, I wasn't well-rounded in and, and strong in, and I was able to, you know, create more boundaries. It's really beautiful when we hone in on those areas of our life that don't come naturally. So um, with that said, I'll, I'll get back on track, but I just wanted to really encourage you there that if there's an area that you don't have strength in, you know, and you're saying, oh God, I can't stand cutting things out and creating things. I do encourage you, you know, if you really want to live your best life to kind of get a little bit more in touch with your creative side. So again, so for my information driven friends who I want to be more like, um, at the end of this, you want to take, you know, your top goals. And when you create your vision strategy plan, you want to have it either typed up. I mean, that's more or, uh, organization people, but you do want to have it listed and then have it, you know, visually stimulating. You don't have to create a, a fancy board. Um, for my, you know, more organizational friends, you know, I know they're going to want bullet points and lists. And again, you'll keep it more visual. For my more creative friends, yes, cut out the magazines, cut out words that are motivating. Um, you know, have fun with it. Take your time and do it maybe a little bit every night um, and create it. And we're going to get a little bit, again, more into the nitty gritty uh, of creating this vision plan um, and what you want on it. But I'm just giving you guys the direction and, and where your mind needs to go. So um, I skipped over the organization. I put them in the same category as the information driven. The 
my little organized friends, um, who I also need to be more like that you're typically more, um, better to do index cards, maybe get a cloth board and then to do the index cards, you write it out on the index cards and then you actually will have like your due date, um, which I recommend for everybody, you know, for these goals is give yourself a date that these tasks you, you want to have it done by. And then it's kind of fun. My action driven people, typically a vision wall is better for you. Um, and that is like, um, you know, finding photos, finding, um, you know, uh, like in Hobby Lobby, those uh, creative like sayings and create actually a full wall. Um, so those, that's the typical direction you want to head in. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys are nodding your head like, yes, I could see myself more, you know, enjoying something like that. Um, but some of you guys, maybe, you know, if you're, you're going through this experience and you're like, you know what? I do like to read a lot of books, but I do want to start tapping into my creative side. Go for it, guys. The, the world is your pearl right now. You know, um, you could go any direction out of this whole experience. So I have to encourage you strongly to, you know, dabble. And if it's not going well or if it's frustrating to you, put it down. Go back to it. If it's still frustrating, then go to the, the style that you're most comfortable with. But I do have to encourage you to, you know, dabble in, in other areas as well. So take a deep breath. All right. For those of you who have your vision strategy prep sheets, get them out. For those of you who don't, let me know. I know Dory and Colleen, I will make sure that I get some over to you guys. I will get you the registration um, link if you don't mind um, so you can get that prep sheet. So when you open up your sheet, first is just some brain dumping, you know, and, and don't ever forget, you know, that it is time to turn some dreams into reality. We're not getting any younger and, you know, we're appreciating life a lot more than we used to. So it is kind of time to stare fear in the face and say, you know what, I'm going to go and I'm going to try this. I opened my own business. You know, I was someone who my parents didn't even think would finish college, you know, and God put people in my life to help guide me. But it was a dream of mine. And I had, you know, none of the resources, none of the tools to get to where I'm at. And um, it really, honestly, you know, takes things like setting goals and having dreams and, and going for them, you know, and sometimes it's ignorance is bliss, um, you know, it, it just being such a dreamer. Um, and that's probably why I got as far as I did initially, you know, just being such a dreamer and just being, um, you know, a, a person who um, it, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, forget it. Um, optimistic. <laughs> oh my goodness. So some of the things I want you guys to think about, and if you don't have the, the prep sheet again, just, just be taking notes is, is what did you want to be when you grew up? You know, I always thought I wanted to have a sandwich shop, but I always visioned myself, you know, having, um, my own business that was always definite, um, sandwich shop. I know I don't even eat carbs. I'm gluten free, but that, that was my thing. So definitely write that down if you don't mind and, and really think about this. Have fun with this. Do you remember what you wanted to be when you grew up? Um, what hobbies did you dream of doing when you grew up? Did you think, you know, when I grew up, I'm going to be a mom? Um, did you think you were going to be traveling everywhere? Um, you know, what did you think your life was going to look like back then? Um, and if you could have your own business, what would it be? So even if you, when you grow, grow up, um, you know, it wasn't to have your own business, uh, I still want you answering that question. So that's a separate question. So the first one is just, what did you want to be when you grow up? Um, the second one was, you know, how did you imagine your life was going to be like? Um, you probably didn't think you'd meet a cool chick named Stevie who was going to make you do a vision strategy plan. Um, but I promise you, this is going to be so, so worth it. It really is. And it's so motivating and it's going to be a huge pick me up right now to be setting some goals. Uh, so what business, you know, if you could have any business in the world, what would it be? What talents has God given you? And that's something that might come out as we go through this. I've had some clients do this and they're like, I, I truly don't know. I, you know, growing, I had no goals of, of what I wanted to be when I grew up. I didn't have that opportunity in my childhood or I, I truly don't know, you know, what my gifts and talents are. I think you do know, you know, whether or not you can sing, um, whether or not you're good with people, but you know, it's okay if you don't have all of these answered right now, but definitely circle them and go back to them, please. Um, if you could travel anywhere, where would it be? 
anywhere. You guys can feel free to answer these right now so I can see. I would love to see what your answers are. Um, the other thing is, is then you take it to the next step and it's be, all right, if I could travel anywhere with my family, where would it be? And then the final step is um, if I traveled like with a partner, you know, somewhere more romantic. So you look at all those angles. It's, it's really interesting. And then, um, <laughs> this one's fun. If you could have anything magically organized in your life, what would it be? Would it be your life? Um, you know, anything magically organized. So I, I wave a wand and like everything falls into place. Uh, for me, it was my morning schedule with the kids. I would love anything for that to have not been as chaotic and, you know, have some stronger systems set up for that. Maybe it's, you know, your evening routine. Uh, maybe again, this is not an area that you feel you need to strengthen, but just try to explore these areas with me because they're going to kind of be offshoots, you know, and start getting the brain to start thinking about answering the heavy questions. <laughs> um, if you could do one home project, what would it be? And it doesn't have to it could be a garden outside. It doesn't have to necessarily be redoing your bathroom. Um, but one home project, what would it be? Or one um, around your home <laughs> project, what would that look like? You know, uh, what would you like that to be? And then I love this one. And this one's going to take some time as well. What is going to be like your swan song? What is your mantra, you know, for the year? So Candy's it's this year is fear is a liar. Last year it was see it through. And, uh, you know, we had one candy, she actually had it like on a little sign next to her bed. And when she woke up in the morning, she would see, see it through. And it's, it's important to have a mantra. It's important, you know, for me for a little while, it was sharp in the saw because I really needed to have stronger systems because I kept banging my head into the wall. I'm a little bit action driven and I just do first. And then I kind of pick up the pieces and I really wanted to change that. I really, really, you know, didn't want to continue living life like that. I wanted to have more boundaries, more systems um, set up in my life to guide me and, uh, you know, strengthen that area. And so I would do everything with, am I sharpening the saw? Sharpen the saw, for those of you who don't know the concept, it's um, like typically we like are walking down the path and we'll keep knocking into that tree and we might try to like saw it down. We don't take the time to sit there and sharpen the saw to then cut down the tree. And it could be something as simple. I, I taught my son recently how to put all the spoons in the one section of the, the dishwasher, you know, in the silver water tray, put all the spoons in one place, all the forks in the next place, all the knives in the next place. He was like, mom, this is an incredible system. You know, this is the best. It's like, you're putting it anyway. Why don't you just put it in a, you know, a little direction, put a little extra effort and it makes such a difference. Food prepping is sharpening the saw, you know, all week long, you have great choices, um, you know what you're eating, you're saving yourself a ton of time, you know, that kind of stuff it is sharpening the salt. All right, back on track. <laughs> and then now we're starting to dig in a little bit deeper. I really want to know what your top three priorities are. You know, for me, it's family, career, and faith. You know, what are your top three? Is it, you know, your career? Is it your, um, you know, significant other? Is it your four-legged child? You know, what are, what are the top three things that you want to be putting your time and effort into? Um, you know, it's always that question, you know, if your house is burning, what are the first, what are the three things you're going to grab? Honestly, I need you to know, like, what are the things that you're going to put the strongest boundaries around in your life where you're like, all right, I am turning off, you know, electronics at six o'clock and I'm focusing on what? <laughs> so that the top, top three, and you'll have other priorities we're going to go over and there's going to be other things that you really prioritize and value in your life. But I, I want you to write down what your top three are. And again, if you don't have the strategy prep sheet, we will get it to you guys. All right. We'll get you the link um, to register and we'll get it over to you guys. Take a deep breath. I hope you're having fun with this. I really, really do. This can be it, it, it literally will be the bit greatest virtual hug for you because when you start setting goals, because right now we're so scared to set goals. We're just trying to live one day at a time. And that's okay. That is totally okay. And again, it is okay right now if you just start with 100 day goals and then we'll work towards maybe three month goals or, or you know, uh, six months goals. But I would love, love, love if you would at least consider doing both like a six month strategy and then um, the 100 day strategy as well. So when we're all done, I want you to, you know, start writing that out. Like 
typically I would have you right now figure out, you know, what your 100 day plans are. I don't get enough time with you guys tonight, but that would be um, the next thing to do is the top five items to focus on for the next 100 days. If you can do that real quick, that would be awesome. It's just the top five items you want to focus. So it takes those three, you see where I'm going, the three priorities, and then you get to add two more. So uh, that's um, where we're going with that. Um, and that's the next 100 days. Like now we're starting to branch out a little, little bit. Um, when you're going through these strategy prep sheets right now, I just want you taking notes. And then later on, you'll dive in a little bit deeper. But you'll start having some aha moments as we're talking. And I hope I'm guiding you through to have some aha moments. But I do want you to go through this again on your own. Um, I love it if you put pen to paper before you go to bed. So many people are like up watching TV. Like you're not productive in the evenings. You're not really um, doing things that are going to put you in the right direction. Why not start doing a little reading and putting pen to paper, doing a little journaling, maybe reviewing some of the areas of growth that you had during the day, reflecting on some blessings during the day. Go to bed a little bit earlier. Uh, like Jen, you're getting up for those 5.30 a.m. sessions now. It's incredible. And I honestly, honestly promise you, your life is going to be so much more fulfilling and you're going to have so much more direction because in the morning, you are so much more focused. You have, you know, just you're, you're starting the day. You're, you know, getting things done and your productivity levels are just so much higher in the mornings than they are in the evenings. So I do have to encourage you to start going to bed a little bit earlier every night, ending the evening with maybe a little bit meditation and, um, you know, putting pen to paper and then, uh, you know, starting your day with more time and having more time for that productivity. Oh my gosh. That's even a bigger virtual hug than the one I just gave you. Close your eyes real quick for me. Humor me. Close your eyes. I'm sending you a huge virtual hug. Huge one. You feel me? I'm squeezing you. Mm. Some of you might not even know me and I'm hugging you. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. You need it. You need a big virtual hug right now and you need that oxygen mask going on you. All right. You ready? All right. Let's start digging into our best life ever. So we got our priorities, right? And normally when you're looking at the strategy prep sheet, now that we did a little brain dumping, you would then write these again at the top because these are the things you really want to be visualizing on and focusing on. Um, and then of course, you know me, I need you to figure out your health goals first because if you don't have your health, we got nothing. We got nothing to work with here. So that's really, really important that you um, put your health goals down first. Fitness goals. Listen, you got to move more. Your body every decade starts losing more bone density, muscle mass. So you know what? You better set some fitness goals. You don't have to become a candy girl. We got an awesome virtual program though. You should check it out. Um, but I definitely, definitely need you to please, please, please um, be, you know, setting some fitness goals for yourself. 15 minutes of physical activity a day. You can do that. Nutrition goals. Okay. I do nutrition coaching if you need help. Um, but honestly, like I need you guys to start eating better, you know, eating less processed foods, feeding yourselves better. Not only is that going to help your immunity big time, which is so important right now, but it is so, so important that you get your nutrition in check. And again, I can help you with that. But if you don't want my help, get, you know, whatever support you need to get your nutrition in check. Um, I think now we're realizing more than ever how important it is. Uh, I want you to set up an adventure for yourself. Something that you've always wanted to do. You know, the candies, we were actually supposed to go rock climbing together. I'm kind of bummed that didn't happen. Indoor rock climbing. You know, even if it is just a hike right now. And you can possibly, you know, do a hike right now. I, I don't know what, what what's closed and what's not closed. But I definitely want you to set an adventure for yourself. Um, and a, a more physical adventure where you're going kayaking, um, maybe you're going fishing, you know, kind of pick a, an outdoor adventure for yourself to, to challenge yourself with. And even if you're not an outdoorsy person, you know, maybe do something like indoor rock climbing, paintballing. Maybe it is, you know, I mean, I encourage you guys to do more fitness, but maybe it is taking, you know, a culinary class. But I, I really want you to set a fun adventure for yourself. And again, I'd rather it be fitness based and kind of, you know, push yourself and push your boundaries a little bit. Maybe it's doing an indoor, that indoor parachute where it like simulates that you're doing like skydiving, like the indoor skydiving experience. Definitely, definitely, definitely set an adventure for yourself and 
within the next six months, you know, hopefully you'll be able to do that. Um, fear is a liar. It really, really is. I'll never forget the first time I finally went into a rock climbing. It was just such an incredible experience. And I wasn't in the shape I'm in now. It motivated me though, to get in the shape I'm in now. Um, it's, it's just so, so cool what we can do when we uh, put pen to paper and start setting some goals here. Um, I'd love for you to include your family health on there. You know, what would you like to do? What are your goals for your family's health? You know, if it is just incorporating a vegetable at, at dinner at night and there are ways to get kids to eat their veggies, I will help you with that. If you're on my, uh, my Stevie Life Changer page, I, I naturally will, will give you guys lots of ideas. Real quick everything bagel seasoning on the salad got the boys to eat their salads tonight who knew um and i didn't use a ton because you know i was concerned about salt but that was that was a surprise that uh that was the only thing i changed and little guy never you know he picks at a salad and it was it was done um and homemade ranch dressing i used the ranch seasoning with a little greek yogurt and a little milk who knew so there you go um and then family fitness my family day is typically sunday for us to get fit the rest of the week. I'm kind of doing my fitness for me because I really, that's my time and I do so much better. Um, I obviously encourage the boys um, for fitness and um, little guys is definitely embracing it. But um, Sunday definitely for me is my, my fit family day. So I encourage you guys as well. You know, this journey needs to be you first. You've got to put the oxygen mask on yourself first. And I love those clients that I watch that they get healthier and then their families are seeing how much happier and, and healthier they are. And then they just naturally get on board, you know, by being an example, I got into fitness because I watched my father just about every morning doing calisthenics, you know, like that he left such a legacy for me. Um, and he loved his gym. He loved his gym membership. Um, I, I don't want to keep you guys on, but funny story. I hope he doesn't mind me telling you. His gym uh, in New York became an all-female gym while he was a member. And he was so upset. He ended up getting like some access pass and the ladies just let him, you know, go. Uh, but yeah, so my dad, he was, uh, before I can't, he was around. He, he was uh, the only man in the gym. God bless him cup because he just loved the gym so much i probably should have shared that story <laughs> but i just uh, he was truly truly an example uh, to me and uh, he's just has left such a legacy such a legacy and i just want to encourage you guys to do the same for your family so you don't realize what they're watching and what they're they're taking in um, my mom served two vegetables at dinner every single night and so that's something that i have also carried on um, you know, with my family is two vegetable servings, um, every night, which it should be, but these are things you, you just don't even realize the impact you'll make on your children's health and your own health. All right. Over to career goals. So I'm not telling you to quit your job right now. Some of you maybe have been forced to be furloughed or, or, or what have you. And this is a huge time to realize fear is a liar and really discover and explore what have you wanted to do? You know, what, is the career that you've always wanted. It is never too late. I have clients at 60 getting nursing degrees. You know, it is never ever too late to follow your dreams and see what you're made of and go for it. Go for it. You know, Jen did our vision board um, program a year and a half ago and she did, you know, um, get a new certification and, and went for it. One of our other gens ended up um, becoming, uh, going through the process to become a foster parent. Like, stop thinking about, oh, I want to do this one day. Get it on the vision board and see what we can do to make that reality. Because again, by naturally, it's so amazing. I, and you won't know it till it happens. But by having that visually every day, it will slowly create your focus and your body will naturally find the resources to put you in that direction. It is absolutely amazing. I am living proof, you know, and some of my clients are, are living, living proof, but you got to get pen to paper and do not be afraid, you know, to have a dream and do not be afraid to try to see that dream through, you know, fear is a liar. Um, you know, I, I had Deb was posting yesterday how she's afraid to do the Goliath on and she's like, F it, I'm going to do it. Like, you've got nothing to lose, people. Nothing to lose. But why are you keeping yourself from seeing it through? Why are you keeping yourself from having a best life? 
You know, these things are in your mind for a reason. Maybe they're a calling. You know, you don't even know and you're not even, you know, you're just too afraid to try to figure it out. Listen, we're going through crap right now. If we can manage this, I think we can manage a, a little rock climbing or, you know, a little career change. Who knows? Listen, I don't want to be liable if it, <laughs> but I have to be honest with you. If you want to live your best life, it is time to stop being afraid and it's time to start seeking out what you were really designed for and what your purpose really is. And uh, I can, you know, I wish the clients would type in because there's a few clients on this call that have stared fear in the face and have, you know, changed their direction. And they never looked back, never, ever looked back. They absolutely, you know, are loving their lives and just really glad that they they accomplished um, such feats. So, you know, you definitely want to consider your aspirations, you know, throughout this, you know, what do you feel your purpose is? What do you feel you were designed for? What do you feel that you've always wanted to do that you're not doing? Just write it down, write it down. Let's just start there. Okay. Uh, It's, it's important. (laughs) It really is. If you want to live your best life, do not be afraid of your dreams. Um, What am I doing here? Sorry. Just started altering it. Hopefully, I don't know what I just did. There we go. We got it back. All right, fungals. So this is important, but it can't, you know, get to the point where it's unhealthy. We have to balance in social. I was probably doing social almost every week, and uh, I definitely had to. It was not in line with my purpose. It was not in line with my priorities. It was fun, though, Um, but it was not in line. So you just have to make sure you're balancing everything in and finding healthy ways to have fun and make sure that your fun again is in line with your priorities and in line with your purpose. Self care. Did you ever hear of it? I knew some of you are at least, well, you were getting your nails done or your hair done and now you're having to explore other areas, which is good. Explore other areas because self care literally means you caring for yourself, not you paying somebody else to care for you. This is you doing things for yourself, whether it's putting a face mask on, journaling at night. That is a beautiful form of self-care. Things that you're doing daily to recharge your batteries. Um, Getting your fitness on, maybe doing a little prayer or a little meditation. This is time with yourself. Things, lotion on your body. Things that you're doing, food prepping for you um, to show yourself love and to show yourself care. Financial goals are huge. This is something I really had to um, hone in on, you know, and it really impacted my life dramatically. There's a a lot of apps out there now that can help guide you. They're very easy to use, simplistic to use. You want to make sure you're getting the best return on your investment um, so you can carry out your mission. It's so, so important. And and we want to look at, I was spending way too much money on groceries and incidentals that I really didn't need. So by, you know, taking a look at, um, you know, by doing a budgeting app, I was able to start figuring out and then saving up for things and rewarding myself with things. And uh, it's amazing, you know, how I was able to change my budget. I'm doing a lot more saving than I was ever doing before. And uh, it helps me, you know, with my mission and it helps me not to be a stress when an emergency arises. Um, You know, and I'm on a shoestring budget and I really make it work. So if I can do it, I feel like anybody, you know, is able to do it. Um, it's, it's so, so important to, to get a budget together and, uh, stick with it. And it will again, you know, make sure it's in line with your purpose. We're almost done here, guys. Hang in there with me, please. And again, be please taking notes as we we talk about this. So when you go into your strategy prep sheet, you will already, um, you know, have some ideas together and be really, really successful with this. So some household goals are great. You know, we, we talked about li- earlier, like if you one household project, what do you want it to be? Start thinking about th- those areas of your life. Take pride in your home. Um, it does, again, affect the, the uh, your, your best life. You know, if you're going to bed at night and your room is a peaceful space and it's clean and well organized, you're going to sleep better. Um, you're going to function better. I I can't believe like when I have my workspace all set up and I have like Christian classical instrumental music playing and I have everything like clean and organized, I am so much more productive um, throughout the day. And what I work on, you know, does tend to be a lot cleaner. I get a better, 
in return on my investment in my day if I have a, a good workspace um, all set up and a, a strong environment all set up. And and that, you know, the cleaning part is important. You know, if that's not your strong suit, it's important to take enough pride in yourself and your home and your health um, to make sure that you are, um, you know, really striving to have a, a clean and, and tidy home. Uh, you can get help for that. You know, um, right now it's going to be a little bit harder, but I think, you know, this is a huge, huge opportunity. Find some motivation and just try it. Just start with your room. And when your room is clean, see how much better you feel, see how much better you enjoy it. There are so many shows now, um, and apps and so many things to help guide you in finding organization and cleanliness in your home and get motivated uh, to go there, you know, and get rid of what you don't want and what is causing clutter in your life. And when you start, you know, cleansing all of that out, really good things happen. Um, local travel, some fun are, are definitely, you know, if you've ever want to go to the Tulip Gardens, everyone's talking about the Tulip Gardens. Um, Longwood Gardens, you know, if there, there's little local trips or adventures that you've been wanting to, um, you know, do make sure these get put in there. Um, longer distance travel should be on here. This is huge. So skills and knowledge. I would love it, you know, when you're back to commuting to work, that you are listening to more podcasts and start exploring podcasts that you want to start um, listening to in the areas of your purpose. I have to encourage you guys to start being a little bit more information driven and really start educating yourself, reading more books if you want to live your best life, you know, and maybe seek some areas. There's Jesus Life Coach. Um, there are a whole bunch of amazing, amazing books on Hoopla, amazing audiobooks if reading is not yet your thing. And uh, that's a good one, isn't it? It is so, so important. Now, I'm not driving to work anymore, but I'm still making sure I make the time. A few times it's been in the shower, um, you know, listening to my audiobooks and, um, you know, getting uh, my podcast in because it definitely sharpening my skill set um, has made a huge impact. And now, as I mentioned to you, I'm actually taking courses online, doing some online learning. A lot of places have been having specials. So that's a, a huge opportunity right now. So maybe, you know, your home, maybe take it a, a step further. And listen, guys, I know some of you being home is no picnic. You're like a teacher now, and then you're still working full time, and you're, you're trying to manage the household. I get it that it's hectic. I still have to try to encourage you, you know, to seize the moment and, you know, see what you can accomplish. It, it really is cool. It really is when you start putting pen to paper and just start finding direction, it will work out. And then, of course, your faith goals. I would not be smiling and I would not be, you know, dealing with as much as I am and still standing if I didn't have faith. All of us have different variants of faith. All of us, you know, um, handle faith in different ways. But I strongly encourage you to seek this area and set some goals in this area as your life as well. So that is the strategy prep sheet. So when you're done with all that and you, you work it all out and you got notes everywhere, right? Then you start highlighting and circling those areas that are the most important. So you typically will pick the, the, you know, the top one in each of these categories and you use that to create your vision board or your vision list or your vision wall. Um, you know, I'm available if you guys need more help with this uh, and need more ideas with this. But this is the nitty gritty. What you're doing right here on the paper and uh, doing the brain dumping is really, you know, the exploratory part is creating the strongest foundation for your success and pointing you in the direction of living your best life. But don't stop there. Again, even if you're just listing those top 10 things, framing it and putting it because you need it to be visually stimulating. You need it to be visually appealing. Otherwise, you're not going to be embracing it. It does need to be something that you can put daily focus to. Um, you know, force comes to worse, you do the list and you put it in your journal and you're reading it every day. I have to encourage you to make the time to really make this amazing. This is your life and this is the map to your life. So would you not want the clearest map and, you know, the map that is going to get your attention every single day? Um, I was in one of our clients office, um, a, a few years back and she had her vision board like as an art piece in her office that she was seeing every day and I knew it guided her and she had like a bulletin board next to it where she was like taking notes and she really really took it seriously and uh 
living a great life, living an incredible life. And the things that she's accomplishing and the things that she's doing in her life are mind blowing. And it starts with putting pen to paper. You can do this. All right. I've given you everything you need. You know, you don't even need a a coaching strategy session with me for this. Like I've given you everything. And then of course we, we had this great time together tonight, which I really value and I really appreciate so much. So I hope that I'll have the opportunity. Um, we'll do some more workshops coming up and, um, again, if you need anything fitness at all, um, well, I do health life coaching and then I have a fitness studio, so I'll help you in any way I can. But just remember, you know, to seek purpose, seek your purpose, um, seek joy, even when, you know, you're feeling sorrow and it's really, really difficult. It's okay. You know, it's okay to still seek blessings out of the experience, but it's okay to have the pain because the pain is what helps you grow. You know, and it's in those experiences that we do experience the most growth, but choose to grow. Don't choose to shrivel up. Be that brave little caterpillar. Life is definitely sweeter when you're healthy in all areas. You know, the, the mental, the physical. You can do this. I, I really, really believe in you. It's going to start with loving yourself. It's going to start with putting the oxygen mask on yourself first. That is huge. And, you know, we're going to enjoy the journey one day at a time. But we're going to be looking, you know, at a, a beautiful vision and a beautiful life that we want and we're going to go get it. I am so grateful for you guys checking in tonight. I hope that you've gained some insight and some motivation to be able to start mapping out what your best life looks like and realizing that by having that map in front of you, it'll be a natural guide for you to go and get what you want. I really, really feel blessed to have had this opportunity with you guys tonight. And um, you have a choice. You know, you you really do. So I encourage you to choose growth. And um, I'll be sending you a short survey. That was the only other thing, if you guys don't mind, just to, you know, I want to be giving you guys what you want. I want to make sure that, um, you know, if you're giving me time on a Friday night of a holiday weekend, that I am providing you things that are going to motivate you, inspire you, and, of course, give you that huge virtual hug. All right, guys, I hope you will at least, at least text me or email me a photo of your finished product, whatever it ends up being, whether it's a list um, that you've, um, you know, took a photo of, if it's index cards that you put on a, um, like maybe a, a fabric cover board, if you cut out some magazines and created a really pretty vision board, um, or you created a vision wall, I cannot wait to see what you've done start with the strategy preps, you know, list, get it on a sheet so you can see it every day and then start creating your masterpiece, which is the map to your best life. Have an incredible night. Thank you again. You can do this.